Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am Minister Cynthia Forbes. We invite you to tune in to the Tobago Inspirational Network for the message of hope. I greet you in the wonderful, exalted, and holy name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And take the opportunity wherever you are, hallelujah, to welcome you again to the message of hope. I trust today that the word of God as it goes forth is gonna bless your heart. And for those of you who do not know Jesus Christ as personal Savior and Lord, you're gonna accept him before it is eternally too late. We are here for you. We are here to show you from the word of God that you too can be saved. You too can accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal savior and Lord. Today we want to look into the book of Acts, the Acts of the Apostles, or some people call it the acti activities or the action of the Holy Spirit after the day of Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit descended, hallelujah, and baptized the apostles and or the 120 who were in the upper room. After that was activity, activity, Holy Ghost was on the move and he still is on the move today to convict, hallelujah, and to draw you unto the Savior. Amen. You want to read from Acts chapter 26. I, I would have liked to go from verse 1, but I'll take it up from verse 12. Whereupon, as I went to Damascus with authority and commission from the chief priest, at midday, O king, I saw in the way a light from heaven, a light from heaven above the brightness of the sun, shining round about me and them which journeyed with me. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking to me, saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And I said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. But arise and stand upon thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness both of these things which thou hast seen and of those things in which I will appear unto thee, delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles unto whom now I send thee, to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith in that is in me. Amen. Hallelujah. The first I want to focus on is verse 14. Sorry, verse 18. Hallelujah. Verse 18. To open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The topic today is step out of darkness. Hallelujah. Step out of darkness into the light. Step out of darkness. Come out of darkness. Come into the light, the light of God. Amen. Hallelujah. God wants to bring you out of darkness into the light through the preaching of the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Here the Apostle Paul is making his defense before King Agrippa. Listen, we know the story of, we know his life before he had an, an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ and after he had an, an encounter, after that, before and after. And every born again child of God had a lifestyle before they had an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ and one after. Amen. Hallelujah. We cannot, we cannot, we just cannot um, have an encounter with Christ and remain the same. Come on. There must be a change. 
hallelujah because as the song as the chorus was, jesus on the inside working the holy spirit working we must allow the holy spirit to work in our lives amen hallelujah and the zeal that the apostle paul had when he persecuted the church of jesus christ when he persecuted the christians he used the same zeal to preach the gospel he was sold out for the gospel he, he even declared that he's not ashamed of the gospel of the lord jesus christ because it is the power of god unto salvation to everyone that believe come on there must be a believing amen hallelujah there must be a believing and so God, after he met with him, he is, he, Paul went through so much. <laughs> he, 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 well, he was before Claudius Lysias at one time. Then he was before Felix the governor. Hallelujah. And then he, he came before Festus. And now he is in front of, of Agrippa. All because of the preaching of of the gospel as a pharisee he believed in angels and he believed in the resurrection of the dead and this especially is what hurt the scribes and the pharisees especially the sadducees they did not believe in that hallelujah and so they laid hold on paul yes and here he is before king agrippa giving his defense making a statement as a matter of preaching the gospel in making his defense he's also testifying of the lord jesus christ amen god used the apostle paul then he's no longer no longer on the scene but god has raised up god has raised up men through the years even to our day raise up ministers of the gospel amen those who would preach the gospel to the world to everyone no exception hallelujah all inclusive hallelujah both jews and gentiles if you're not a jew then you're a gentile amen jews and gentiles amen hallelujah and here he is rehearsing hallelujah what happened to him on the way to damascus he got letters he got the okay he got authority from the scribes from the priests you know <laughs> he got authority from the priest to go to bring Christians, to bring them back to Jerusalem, to imprison them. Amen. And here he's rehearsing, hallelujah, what happened to him and the purpose for which God called him. Amen. The purpose for which God called him and the purpose for which God has called all of us. Hallelujah. To declare his word. Amen. To preach the gospel. Amen. To go out there and to be a, a witness and to testify of what he has done for us. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to only you take two, two, part, two parts or two portions of verse 18. One, to open their eyes. Hallelujah. To open. So it means, hallelujah, this is not the, just the physical eyes. Amen. Because when Jesus Christ was on the scene, he opened blind eyes. People who were blind, he opened, caused them to see again. But it was more than just physical. Amen. The spiritual sight to open their eyes. You know, Paul couldn't open anybody's eyes. Amen. Physically, nor spiritually. Amen. But through the preaching of the gospel. Amen. Through the preaching of the gospel, those who believe, those who would believe, those who would believe, those who would believe, hallelujah, would come to a revelation, would come to enlightenment, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord to know who Jesus is. Believe in the gospel. They would have a revelation. They would get understanding of, of, of the gospel. They got the message of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So the understanding. Hallelujah. Not, not the physical eyes. But the spiritual understanding. It would be clear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name 
of the Lord. So it had to be that their minds, hallelujah, and even today, the minds of many people, the eyes, the spiritual eyes of many people are closed. People close their minds to the gospel, to the preaching of the gospel. They don't want Jesus Christ. They close their heart to the preaching of the gospel. They harden their hearts as far as the preaching of the gospel is concerned. They don't want that. Hallelujah. They reject. Even in Jesus' day as he walked on earth, they rejected him. And so today, people still reject the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. They reject the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Amen. So his preaching, his preaching, hallelujah, of the gospel, God used him, hallelujah, to declare to declare, to be a witness, to be a testimony, because they knew who, what Paul, his condition, and then he's now changed. And so people who share the gospel, who preach the gospel, they too, my mind was also blind, my mind was darkened. Hallelujah, my spiritual eyes were not opened. Hallelujah, until, until I gave my heart and my life, until I repented of my sin and accept, asked Jesus Christ of God to forgive me of my sin, amen, and to cleanse me. I accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, come on, and I started because the Holy Spirit lives in me, lives in the believer. He leads, he guides, he directs, he teaches us from his word so we can grow. Enlightenment, enlightenment, hallelujah. To open to instruct to bring clarity to bring understanding hallelujah and today and as other days that you have heard the word of god being preached come on open up your minds like the holy spirit is knocking at your heart's door amen he's wooing you he's pleading with you hallelujah he wants to take you out of darkness he wants to open your mind. He wants to open your eyes, your spiritual eyes, as the Apostle Paul says in Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 4 and 3. If our gospel, and when we say our gospel, that which we share, Paul is saying, if our gospel is hid, if you cannot see it, if you can't understand it, Remember Jesus told Nicodemus, except you be born again, you can't see. It means you can't understand what the kingdom of God is. Amen. If our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, whom the God of this world had blinded their minds. Closed mind, closed heart, closed spirit, closed eyes spiritually. Hallelujah, the God of this world, who is the devil, who is Satan. Hallelujah, the God of this world, little G God. Hallelujah, of this world, blinded their minds, the minds of them who believe not. Hallelujah, lest the light, come on, the light of the glorious gospel. Come on, this gospel is powerful, it is glorious, it's effective. If you allow it, if you only believe, it's to those who believe would be saved. Amen. You've got to believe. Hallelujah. Who is the image, the light of the glorious gospel? Hallelujah. Who is, here Paul is saying, who is the image? So the light of the glorious gospel refers to the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the image of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Let that gospel should shine. People close. Look, listen. This is a season where we put up lots of lights. Lights in our homes. Lights in our awesome people's houses. The whole house inside and outside decorated with lights. But what about the, the spiritual life? Is, is there any spiritual light in the life? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Open up and let the glorious the light of the glorious gospel get in to put away darkness. Light dispels darkness. Hallelujah. Light dispels darkness. And this is what the Jesus Christ, God, or Jesus of God, what he wants to do in your life. He wants to get rid of the darkness. Listen, in the, in the creation, hallelujah, God said, let there be light because the Bible tells us darkness covered the face of the deep. There was darkness 
and God separated the light from the darkness, there was light. Hallelujah. And he sent his light, Jesus Christ, into the world. Amen. To open the eyes of the blind, spiritually blind, that you can see. Hallelujah. You can understand. You can come to a place of knowledge. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The God of this world is your enemy. Hallelujah. Who you partner with. Hallelujah. He doesn't like you. He wants to destroy your life. For he comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He's not your friend. He acts as your friend. He uses other people to let them act as your friend. He's going to use them to destroy you. Open up. Open up your eyes. Hallelujah. 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 Let the gospel. Hallelujah. The, the death and the burial. Hallelujah. The resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ means something to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His blood, his blood, his blood, his blood was shed for you. Hallelujah. Paul said, I, would, I don't want to hear anything else. But he's telling the brethren, listen, I only want to know, I want to hear you preach Jesus Christ and him crucified. That's the crux of the matter. Hallelujah. He died on the cross of Calvary for our sin. Amen. Hallelujah. And this is what he used Paul to do. Paul couldn't of himself open their eyes, but as they believed the word of God, as they trusted in the Lord Jesus Christ and what he said, what he did, amen, then uh, that kind of revelation, that kind of aha experience, amen. <laughs> oh, no, I know. Oh, yeah, that kind of experience, that, that kind of opening up, hallelujah, that, that cloud, that cloud, that darkness, that dimness, hallelujah, be removed from their eyes. And so it could be removed from your mind, from your spiritual eyes, from your understanding today. Amen. Hallelujah. To open their eyes. That's number one. That's the first thing. And to open. So when you, when you get to that place, where do you get the revelation, hallelujah, of who Jesus is and what he did for you on the cross of Calvary, amen. Your life begins to open. You start to receive, hallelujah, the Holy Spirit start to drip, pull, pull away all the darkness as you surrender, as you yield, hallelujah, even now, right where you are. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost acting upon your life. Paul couldn't physically <laughs> open their eyes. That's spiritual. They had, to, they had to allow the Holy Spirit. And you had to allow the Holy Spirit to work. And you don't resist him. Hallelujah. Don't resist him. Don't close up your mind. Don't close up your spirit. Don't harden your heart. Allow the Holy Spirit to come in and work in your life, even as he is doing right now. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So number one was to open their eyes. And so all those who preach the gospel, hallelujah, the gospel, they, it is to open your eyes, to bring you to a, a, an understanding, to bring you to a, a knowledge, hallelujah, of who Jesus Christ is and what he did for you and for me and for all of us, for the entire world. Amen. Hallelujah. On the cross of Calvary, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. To open, to open, to open their eyes, to open your eyes to the truth. Hallelujah. Because the word of God says, God would have all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Amen. Hallelujah. About who Jesus is, who God is, what his word has said about you and me. Hallelujah. And what Jesus Christ did for all of us. And the second point here. Amen. As God wants to, to turn you, take you away from darkness to light. To turn them from darkness to light. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name. To open your eyes as you begin to respond to the preaching of the gospel. Amen. <laughs> Repentance will take place. To turn. Hallelujah. To turn. 
turn them from darkness. Darkness is symbolic of evil, of sin, ignorance, death, obscurity, <laughs> dull, dismal, abysmal. Amen. In the abyss, in the pit, in the dull drums, darkness. We have physical darkness and we have spiritual darkness. Just as <coughs> opening the eyes is a spiritual eyes, so mankind is in spiritual darkness if they don't have Jesus Christ, who is the light. Hallelujah. If you don't have Jesus Christ as a light in your life, you are in darkness. Yes, spiritual darkness. Hallelujah. Hear what Jesus said in John 8 and 12. I am the light of the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am the light <coughs> of the world. He that follows me, who he that followeth me and continues to follow, he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, shall not live in obscurity, shall not live in darkness. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name, but shall have the light of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall not walk in darkness, shall not live in darkness. Hallelujah. But will have the light of life, the light that gives life. Jesus Christ is says and the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. Have Jesus Christ. You have truth. You have light. You have life. Hallelujah. To open the eyes. To open their eyes. Hallelujah. The preaching of the gospel is to do that. Hallelujah. As you believe, as you surrender. Hallelujah. And to turn people from darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To turn people from darkness. I cannot turn you. Hallelujah. Paul couldn't physically turn the people. But as they believe what they hear, repentance takes place. Place. Hallelujah. People change their mind about sin. Hallelujah. And to want to turn away from sin. To change them. To turn them from darkness. We are sin and corruption and vile and vanity and vice. Hallelujah. And wickedness exists. He wants to take you from that. Is it evil? Is it a wrong thing? Is it a bad thing that God wants to take you out of sin, out of shame, out of iniquity, out of darkness, out of hell, hallelujah, and bring you in a place of light and revelation, in the place of where God is, and a place of eternity, hallelujah, into his kingdom. Is it evil? Hallelujah. Is it a wrong thing? Is it bad? No, it is not. As Joshua said, if it is evil, if it seems evil to you to serve God, he said, or to serve the gods on the other side. If it's evil, is it evil to serve God? Is it evil? Is it a wrong thing? Is it bad? See, you go ahead, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To turn people, hallelujah, from darkness, from darkness, to light. Hallelujah. We have two opposites here. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jesus also said, as, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know about you. I, I don't like the dark. <laughs> I, I don't like darkness. At all, physical darkness or spiritual darkness. Hallelujah. Now that I come to know the Lord Jesus Christ as personal Savior, hallelujah. I'm not perfect. Sinless perfection. There's no sinless perfection. We are moving on to perfection. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He wants you to repent today. Turn, turn, turn or burn. <laughs> You either turn or you will burn. Hallelujah. Because God doesn't want you to perish. He wants you to inherit everlasting life. Hallelujah. True life. 
You can read about light, all about Jesus Christ. John in chapter 1, Hello, 1 verses 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Jesus, the true light. Hallelujah, the true, the real thing. Hallelujah, not, he's not a thing. Uh, the thing in quote, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And John 3, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Talking about light, amen. Hallelujah, he wants to turn you from darkness, from sin, hallelujah, from sin. He wants you to turn you from sin. You cannot change yourself. You cannot change. None of us could have changed our life. We could f um, physically do, stop doing something, but uh, the real insight, the real heart change, the inner change comes from God by the Holy Spirit as we heal ourselves to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He wants to change. He wants to take you out of darkness. Hallelujah. And bring you into the light hallelujah if you will allow him hallelujah light speaks of enlightenment hallelujah knowledge speaks of life and clarity understanding vision hallelujah revelation hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord jesus christ where, the, where there is darkness ah there, 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 there is all kinds of evil spiritually you think of all the evil in, in the world come on all the wickedness that's darkness hallelujah do not dwell where darkness is come out hallelujah step out of it get step out of darkness as you hear the word of god hallelujah believe 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 trust god he will not fail you he will never fail you he used paul to do a work and he's using others he's using myself and others to bring you through, hallelujah, the word of God, bring you the word of God so that you too would believe. I had to sit where you sit. I sat where you sit now. I lived where you live now if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as personal savior. But the time came when I responded to the gospel and I gave my heart and my life to the Lord Jesus Christ. And today I'm saved, I'm gloriously saved on my way to glory, amen, hallelujah. By life or by death, in the name of Jesus, that could happen for you today as you give your heart and your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. We'll continue the other two aspects another time. God bless you as you continue to view this program every Wednesday afternoon at 5.30 p.m. Step out from darkness and get into the light of God. Repent today and accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. God bless you. See you next time. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am Minister Cynthia Forbes. We invite you to tune in to the Tobago Inspirational Network for the message of hope.